Hi everybody, how you doing today? Um, today we're going to work on practicing uh, taking photos of our of our drawings and posting and our images and posting them on Padlet. And this is a very important skill to develop before we can do anything with this class. You have to learn how to take proper images of um, the work that you create so I can see it clearly and your, the peers in your class can see it. So with this little exercise we're going to practice photographing the work and framing the work and then posting it up on Padlet, which is the program we're going to be using for group critiques. So get yourself a piece of typing paper, uh, a Sharpie, I've got a piece of drawing paper, a Sharpie, mine's a big fat one, and I'd like you to draw yourself a quick self-portrait, kind of a caricature thing. We're not judging the drawing at all, but I'd like you to draw it on your piece of paper. And it can just be quick, and here is mine. I did it a while ago, and it's pretty awful, but that's me, sort of. Anyway, so the idea is to now f take a photo of the work that you've created of your drawing um, and you want to square the camera to the image as best as possible so you don't want it to tilt or twist or turn okay you don't want it like that you want it square to the camera and it helps to every camera has a grid so like right now I'm looking at my screen and there's a grid that's formed that helps me line up the image I'm also going to zoom in a little bit on it like that you can see slightly crooked. You want to do the best you can. Now, there's things you can do after taking the photograph to crop it and stuff, but you want to try to make that first photograph as clear and accurate as possible before you start messing with it. The other thing to pay attention to is lighting. Make sure there's no weird shadows. You can see I'm just putting my hand over one of my lights, and it creates this kind of change in value that you want to try to avoid. So make sure your lighting is even and clear. The other thing to remember is when you take a photograph of your work, if there is a little value change, that's usually exacerbated in the final image. So, meaning it's exaggerated. Um, trying to think. It helps to take your work, I mentioned this in the, in the text that I created for this assignment, it helps to take your work outside uh, and maybe hang it on a wall and shoot it during a, like in a, the shade of a building or during a cloudy day or something like that to get even lighting. So anyway, and, and oh, and the other thing is you're going to want to kind of set up an area in your apartment or, or wherever your room where you can do this. Some maybe on the wall or I have a tabletop here that I'm going to be shooting a lot of the work on that I make for the class. So um, you want to try to find a place that works for you. So I'm going to stop this little video now. Um, I'll continue in a minute, but I'm going to take a photograph of this and then post it on Padlet. Okay, the second part of this video, I shot a quick little photo of this. Um, image that I drew of myself and now I'm going to upload it to the Padlet um, pad I guess they call it. I don't know it seems stupid but the Padlet pad that will allow us to have group critiques okay that's the whole idea behind that is for you to see other um, of your peers work as well as uh, I need to be able to see kind of what everybody's doing and make comments on it so I'm going to upload this now to the Padlet, and I'd like you to do the same with the drawing that you created yourself, and then make a, write a couple paragraphs about who you are um, and what you're up to and all that kind of stuff, and maybe why you're an art major, if you're an art major, or what's your major, just, just a little reflection. Um, but again, this is all about practicing, loading your work, photographing your work, and then uploading it to the website we're going to be using to uh, have group critiques. So thank you very much.